to the Big Three, Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Ray Flowers. It's Wednesday. Let's talk strikeouts from Tuesday night. Three big guys. In fact, four. I'm not going to talk about Clayton Kershaw, who had 10 strikeouts again. Let's talk about some of the other guys. First number being 169, which is the ERA of Madison Bumgarner in his last six outings. Bumgarner had 11 strikeouts on Tuesday. Let's look at this. 1.69 ERA over six starts. That drops his season-long ERA down to 245. Bumgarner also has a 118 whip. He's striking out 10.9 batters per nine innings, which would be a career best. He's walking 2.3 batters over his last six games per nine innings pitch. What's the concern with Madison Bumgarner? There was the side thing. There was the foot thing. I said, don't worry about it. I hope you listened and didn't worry about it. With all these other concerns at the pitching position, all the guys that were taken near the top that have struggled, Madison Bumgarner has come through. He will continue to come through. He is as stable an option as there is on the hill and performing very well at the moment. The next number is one. It's the number of times this season in which Vincent Velasquez, in his eight starts, has thrown more than six innings. The only time he's thrown more than six innings is when he had the 16 strikeout game early in the season. Now, he struck out 10 guys on Tuesday night, but because of the elevated pitch count, only went five innings. Got to go deeper than that into games if you want to consistently have a chance to pick up victories. Don't forget, he also has never thrown 125 innings in a professional season. Keep that in the back of your mind. He's performing at excellent levels right now, double-digit strikeouts. He's keeping the, the walks in check. There are concerns, obviously, about the workload. I have concerns about a 6% home run to fly ball ratio that probably goes up. The .9 ground ball to fly ball ratio obviously isn't ideal either. And if you look at you know, what batters are doing, they're hitting about 190 against them. That number probably figures to go up too. Biggest concern for me is his health with Velasquez. Can he throw the innings? He's performing well, despite those obvious concerns. And then the final number of the day is 30. That's the number of strikeouts the last two times that Max Scherzer has taken the hill. 30 strikeouts his last 15 in the third innings. Wow, that's great news. Now, he, he's been really consistent with the strikeouts. He's been really effective, minus one key fact, the home run. He right now is saddled with a home run per nine mark that is literally double his career rate. His home run to fly ball ratio right now is literally double his career rate. He's given up eight home runs his last three games. He is a homer prone pitcher. We have seen that for long periods of time in his career, but what we are seeing right now, again, it's ludicrous. Doubling the home run per nine, doubling the home run to fly ball ratio, those numbers will come down as the innings pile up. Don't give up on Scherzer. Don't panic with Scherzer. Don't have a conniption fit with Scherzer. The ERA is coming down and perhaps substantially coming down once those home runs get back to a more manageable, albeit slightly high, and elevated level.